glucosamine. It is a natural compound that is found in your joint. And it's like an unsung hero for joint health. But the question still remains, is it really worth a try? That's why in this video, I will share with you surprising reasons why you can look into glucosamine if you have been diagnosed with osteoarthritis. And stay with me until the end for you to know if it can indeed elevate your blood sugar level or if this is a good option for you if you have been diagnosed with diabetes. Hi, this is again Dr. Sherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy, teaching you practical health tips and home exercise programs that you can surely benefit from. If you're new here, please don't forget to click the subscribe and the bell button below so you won't be missing out with our weekly health videos. Now briefly, if you still don't know what glucosamine and chondroitin are, these are natural compounds which are found in healthy joints. And the purpose of this is to actually caution the end of your long bones and prevent it from rubbing each other. You see, when your joints lose the joint space, it will result to pain. And that's why glucosamine or paired with chondroitin are one of the most available options that you have in the market these days to help you manage joint pain. In Europe, glucosamine is prescribed to patients who have been diagnosed with osteoarthritis. While in the U.S., the use of glucosamine is moderate due to mixed results of studies. Is glucosamine really effective in decreasing joint pain caused by osteoarthritis? What is the proof? Let's dig into science. There are many peer-reviewed studies done to check the effects of glucosamine in your joint health. And one of these studies actually published in the Journal of Rheumatology. And it actually found that glucosamine sulfate is successful in preventing worsening of osteoarthritis. In fact, this study actually validated that 1,500 milligrams of glucosamine daily can effectively lower the pain caused by osteoarthritis. Now let's dig deeper. Another study that I want to share with you was actually published with the Annals of Rheumatic Disease. And this study aimed to figure out the effect of glucosamine sulfate in combination with chondroitin and its effect or its comparison with silicoxib, a potent oral pain reliever that is commonly prescribed for patients with osteoarthritis. And they found out that glucosamine can actually significantly lower the pain caused by osteoarthritis in the hip and in the knee joint. And the study also concluded that it can be a good alternative if you are someone who wish to avoid the side effects of oral pain relievers, especially for people who have cardiovascular conditions and for those who have hypersensitivity to their stomach. Here are the other surprising reasons why you can look into glucosamine for joint health. It can preserve your cartilage. A study published in the American Journal of Medicine actually concluded that glucosamine has the capability to preserve joint space, which is very important. Look at this x-ray here. This is the x-ray of a normal joint. It has uniform joint space, while this x-ray here is an x-ray of an osteoarthritic knee. It has lost its joint space, and loss of joint space is equivalent to pain. It can affect your flexibility and your ability to move. Think of your joints like hinges. For you to be able to move well and pain-free, you need to have healthy joints. Glucosamine had been proven to enhance flexibility, allowing you to be functional and independent, and allowing you to do your usual activities of daily living pain-free. And try to observe it, it can improve your stiffness because clinical studies have actually proven that it can help with stiffness which is a common complaint for patients diagnosed with osteoarthritis and which is a main factor that had impacted their quality of life. 
before we continue about the surprising yet practical reasons why you can look into glucosamine for joint health at this point i would like to ask a tiny favor from you to please click the like button below if you're learning something out of this video or this video have been informative and have been a great help for you to help make better choices about your health thank you very much that is deeply appreciated it is cost effective one important aspect that you can look into is the cost effectiveness of glucosamine and chondroitin as compared to other invasive procedures that others may have due to osteoarthritis even the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs over time can cost you money and it is also not safe for your health. So if you want to save, check on glucosamine and chondroitin because these can be a new partner for you in enhancing joint health. Lower healthcare utilization. If glucosamine can naturally help you lower the pain, that would also equate to lower need to having x-rays and other invasive procedures done in clinics and hospitals, which will be a savings for you, your family, as well as that of the healthcare system. Minimal Side Effects Many studies have actually validated and concluded that the use of glucosamine or even paired with chondroitin are generally considered safe. It is not just for you if you have allergies to shellfish because it may trigger your allergic symptoms. When you compare the long-term use of oral pain relievers and long-term use of glucosamine and chondroitin, the use of glucosamine is more favorable. Long-term use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and opioids for the management of osteoarthritis, which is chronic in nature, is actually not good for your health. If you want to opt for something which is safer, then look into glucosamine and chondroitin. It can prevent surgery. Although I want to tell you that this will work 100% for everyone, that's not the case. It may not be for you if you already have severe form of osteoarthritis. Now, how can we say that it's already severe? Look at this visual analog pain scale from 0 to 10, with 0 being no pain and 10 being the worst kind of pain possible. Try to rate the intensity of your pain. If you can honestly say that the pain scale is between 9 to 10, then I think this might be something late for you. If you also have difficulty walking and significant difficulty in doing usual day-to-day -day activities, then this may not be an option. But in mild to moderate cases of osteoarthritis, glucosamine and chondroitin can really help prevent surgery. Now, to give you an idea, this can be very expensive, knee replacement and hip replacement. Plus, this also needs post-operative care which means that you need to undergo physical therapy as soon as your orthosurgeon clears you to do so. This will help strengthen incised muscles in your joint and help you walk and move again without jeopardizing the surgical site. It is a form of conservative treatment. Physical therapy together with glucosamine can be a good combination to help lower the pain caused by osteoarthritis to keep you mobile and independent. If you want to know about properly progressed exercises, if you have been diagnosed with hip and knee osteoarthritis with the use of no or minimal equipments, I will put the correct exercises in the description box below so I can also help you. If you have been diagnosed with lumbar spondylosis, that actually means osteoarthritis of the spine, we also have the correct exercise for that. I will also pin it down below so you won't have difficulty looking for it. Try to do these exercises four to five times a week. This will strengthen the muscles and stabilize your affected joint and prevent it from worsening. Improve quality of life. Besides the cost that entails when you purchase glucosamine and chondroitin, try to check and look into your quality of life. 
I want you to be as functional, independent, and mobile as much as possible naturally. This is very important, especially for our seniors. And if you want to do that, this can be a good option for you. Now, with the main concern, if glucosamine can indeed increase your blood sugar level, actually, there are limited studies that will prove that. What had been proven or had been documented, though, is taking glucosamine and chondroitin can actually affect the efficacy of your diabetic medicines to control your blood sugar level. That's the reason why if you have been diagnosed with diabetes, it is safe for you to ask and talk to your doctor about this first. Also, talk to your doctor if you're currently taking blood thinners because it can actually enhance this medication. This is it for this video. These are the reasons why you can look into glucosamine or chondroitin for joint health. Should you have any questions regarding osteoarthritis or any concerns about this video or questions about numbness and pain and needle sensation, please comment down below because I would really get back on you. If you have reached the end of this video, please comment mobile in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. This is again Doc Cherry. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. God bless you.